You're back here fighting in Las Vegas for the first time since 2011. What does it mean to you to fight right here in Las Vegas and put on for your family? For me, it's a big opportunity, and I'd like to thank uh, Dump Ryan for giving me this opportunity. Not only is it an opportunity to fight on one of the biggest cards of the year, it's an opportunity for you to fight for a world title. What was that like when you got that phone call and you got the chance to fight, knowing you were going to get a chance to fight for a world title? Yeah, so, uh, my, uh, we're just uh, ready for this fight and I hope we can bring that crown back to the people. You're fighting Emmanuel Navarrete? Mexican versus Filipino. That's happened a few times here in Las Vegas, Ben Pacquiao and Manuel Marquez. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, uh, it's a big uh, event, so we do our best. We're looking forward to seeing you Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Let's keep it going. We've got the big boys in the building, the heavyweights up, right? Mark? Thank you, Christina. Yes, MGM Grand on the world famous. Las Vegas Boulevard, it goes down Saturday, September 14th. Cowcast boards. Big boys are in the building, we gotta get to them. But first, please welcome from Paranaque City, Philippines, Juan Miguel Miguelorde. 28 and 1 with 15 KOs. He is the fighting pride of the Philippines. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm excited for this fight. One MIG, MIG the boss Elorde against Emmanuel Navarrete on September 14, 2019 at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, the boxing capital of the world, or maybe the U.S. Uh, a lot of boxing, great boxing world championship fight is happening here. And uh, they'll be fighting for the World Boxing Organization, WBO World Super Bantamweight title. So this is definitely a great opportunity for one Mig Elorde. And uh, he couldn't be more excited. And uh, according to him, and uh, we've read this on the newspaper, he's very excited and he's been looking forward to this opportunity. And uh, I just want to say before you comment on this, and I, I purposely is commenting and doing this uh, in English so that you know people around the world would understand. Uh, please, if you're a Filipino, you know stop the hate, stop bashing uh, uh, one Mig and saying that this is a one-sided fight. I mean, every boxers would have a chance as long as they train, if they have two hands and they're properly conditioned. You know, uh, Navarrete is old, also human. And anyway, let, let's talk about this fight. And uh, personally, of course, t I'm rooting for our very own Filipino fighter, uh, Juan Miguel Orde, who's 32 years old, also known as the boss. 28 wins, only one defeat with 15 KO. The last defeat of uh, Mig Elorde was uh, back in 2011. Uh, that was a unanimous decision lost against jerry guevara jerry guevara i think that happened as well in las vegas so this is not the first time that uh miguel Orde will be fighting in uh, vegas and uh, so you know he's not a newbie in this type of uh scene meanwhile uh emmanuel navarrete actually has a identical record of 28 wins and one loss so it's only though Emmanuel Navarrete has uh, more knocked out with 24 KOs under his belt and he's only 24 years old now this Emmanuel Navarrete uh, has just recently fought uh, against Francisco de Vaca uh, last August 17 and is already fighting a month after or less than a month after after his fight and uh, of course the uh, Navarrete uh, was actually burst on the scene after defeating Isaac Dogbo twice I mean twice I mean and the last one was a TKO win and you know that allowed him of course to become the WBO Super Bantamweight title which is the the belt that uh, Mig is fighting for today now for people that doesn't know Juan Mig Elorde is the grandson of our very own boxing legend, uh, the Flash, Gabriel Flash Elorde, who's 
synonymous to boxing in the Philippines. He has a brother, Bayo, who actually is the one who provided me with this uh, video. He's also a boxer. And, uh, you know, his, his parents uh, also acting as the manager uh, for him is very excited, actually is in the U.S. right now. So I'm sure Mam Lisa and Manjani and everyone is very excited uh, for this and uh, as well as very nervous. So if, if you're a Filipino in, in Las Vegas, you know, support Filipino boxers, support one Mig Elorde. It's not just Pacquiao there. There's a lot more Filipino fighters that are fighting. Actually, um, that prank uh, actually handles, uh, I think, Pagara and Marlon Tapales as well. So those are good boxers as well under top rank uh, promotion, Bob Arrow. But Juan Miguel Orde, given a chance, short notice, uh, here's how I'm seeing the fight. Now, uh, Emmanuel Navarrete is known to be an aggressor and he's really gonna push forward and uh, he's really gonna try and uh, probably try to knock out uh, one Miguel Orde, but uh, we already know that. And uh, Elorde, you know, they know boxing, so they will know what to do. And uh, I'm, I'm saying that if Elorde box properly here, and really box intelligently uh he would win via unanimous decision against uh navarrete and uh maybe give an upset uh because uh, again I, I must admit it that uh, navarrete is the favorite but uh is that a mismatch as all, at all i mean one miguel orde has a fighting chance on this one and um you listen to me here. I don't want to see any hate. You may put some hate, fine. But what I want to see is a comment of support for our very own Filipino fighters. If you're not Filipino, if you're Mexican, that's fine. I mean, you root your guy, but we will root our guy. And Powcast Sports will root Filipino boxer. So what I'm seeing, and I'm praying, that one MIG, the boss Elorde, wins via decision for this fight and we'll go home as the new wbo world super band of weight title thank you very much and uh, please don't forget to subscribe comment and uh, so that you get all of the boxing action especially filipino boxing action philippine boxing action and other sports thank you very much once again pal salute podcast sports see you again me, me. Outcast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.